Greetings ladies and gentlemen, I'm Romic from the Snap Mania and this Deadpool list did win us 12 cubes in infinite against the 5th best player in the world, against streamers like Broad, it was just such a great deck and what can I say, this is probably the best destroyed deck that is focused on Deadpool. So let's get into the card by card, we have Deadpool of course, we have cards like Forge and Nico Minoru to buff him, Nico Minoru also has great effects like adding a copy of a card to your hand that you have recently played and of course it has the buffing effect and the destroyed Destroy, draw 2 effect, if you ever get that one you probably instantly win, X23 to ramp us, Carnage is probably better of the two symbiotes like Venom, if you get the Nico Minoru effect to add a copy to your hand is probably the best card in the game, but Carnage just lets you reliably destroy everything, Wolverine is just a good card, Killmonger destroys Nebulas and Sunspots of high evo players and lockdown players alike, Deathlock to trigger your destroy cards like Deadpool, Wolverine and X23, Taskmaster is way better than Hulkbuster, please run Taskmaster, because he synergizes with Null, he synergizes with Venom, he synergizes with Death, he's just such a better card. Null because he's the biggest destroy lad, unless you're playing against specifically one matchup. If you're playing against the Nihilus and they destroy their sentry, watch out, Null is gonna get a giant power decrease. And, well, Death because she's just usually free. And, as usual, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to destroy the like and subscribe button, as it just helps me a lot. And, well, without further ado, let's get snapping. So we begin our ascent at rank 193. Yes, I've ranked up even since yesterday, but and I even have an infinite avatar as you can see with yesterday's deck. Man, that deck absolutely slapped, but today we're playing something a little more hopium. I don't know. I can say only one thing about Pure Destroy. I'll put up an image right now that you can see. So Pure Destroy is D tier. It is the worst deck that is considered meta. Like I predicted, I said exactly the same thing. Pure Destroy just, it's not good. Like, I don't think this deck is good at all. I think this deck has way too many bad matchups. It's way too inconsistent. Like, yeah, if you draw Deadpool, Forge, and all that, you, of course you win. Of course you win, but, but what happens if you don't draw that? This happens. Look at us. What are we doing? Like, what are we doing? We're nothing. We're sitting. We're just sitting our asses down like idiots not cooking anything. If they play armor here, we're dead. Multiple men and... Uh, I mean, maybe we can win. We're up against Phoenix Force, it seems... Yeah, we have a draw too, so this isn't too bad. Get it too bad, draw too? I'm funny, but... We will play Nico Minoru into Deadpool. We finally got the draw effect on video, I haven't gotten this effect, I think, in a month. After, like, Nico Minoru didn't, I don't know, can't remember really when she came out, but, man, since then, in a video, I have... We're up against pure move. Oh my god. Can we get, I don't know, something good? That That's pretty good? Not gonna lie, those were pretty much bangers. Everywhere. I really can't afford to play Wolverine. Yeah, I can reduce the cost of my death by a ton. If we even get to draw her, which would be quite good. I need to play Null next turn. Yeah, but Null is like baby sized. He's not even that good. Oh my god, our curve is not good, not good at all. But I guess if we draw Venom, it's pretty good. Oh, well, well, that makes everything a whole lot better. He did... I don't under... Why? Why into Morag? I don't get it. I mean, Heimdall instantly kills his entire board, so I guess I can kind of see the logic. Oh my... And sometimes you're just that good. Boys, I am just that good. I am that guy. Like, that is how we... Instantly win. What the fu- <laughs> Okay. That was a little ridiculous, but we we won't be arguing with that. That is... Wow. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh my god, and that's what happens. That's how you win with pure destroy. You high roll off a cliff. Like, that's what happens. You don't need to do anything at all. You just need to... Like, you believe! Maybe I just didn't believe hard enough. Anyway, we got a cube out of that. A game I thought I could never win, we just won out of the blue. I was like, man, we have absolutely zero tempo. 
This deck entirely revolves around drawing Deadpool early. If you don't draw Deadpool, Deadpool Forge, Nico Minoru, I think your deck is horrible. We don't have like a curve that we just go Shuri Nimrod and then instantly win. What's the Nico Minoru effect? Double power. Ugh, that's not good. That's not good. That is probably not not like we're the worst effect. Not really, since Venom can copy it, but the fact they can now lock us down is the biggest problem. If they're playing Lockdown, we're just dead. We can't beat that deck. Not with this hand, anyway. Polaris... Juggernaut. Ah, if he went right, that would have been insane. Venom could have really profited off of that. Tarnax 4... Oh no, we have a featured location today! Oh no, I didn't know that. Uh, there goes me forgetting the most important part of the game. Jeff becomes a two cost. A Luke Cage! Better that than Jeff. Th does that mean they... No, this is just move. I can't really... I need to focus. So this isn't move, this is like a surfer list. It's Or, or maybe it's like that one scene from Bioshock Infinite. It's move, it's that. Um, It's actually both. I have a Taskmaster play that lets me draw cards, so I like this. If he plays Wind Aid, my hand... does Is that what Storm says? I can't really remember. Oh well, the, the, yikes. I mean, we have a 10-powered Taskmaster, that's pretty good. You'll play a non-reveal. Can't be Juggernaut. Don't move, don't please, come on, don't move the Taskmaster. Sure. We still get to draw. Barely, but we still get to. We have Venom and Wolverine. Well, there's Death. I really don't want to play into Tarnax 4. That just re removes us from the game. As any as any of a threat. Is this overcommitting on the Project Pegasus? I think so. So we'll do this. Watch that be like Sarah, and we just can kind of <laughs> concede. There we go. X23, please jump somewhere. Good, important? Sure! That's a good one. I can't play death mid, right? What kills me? We need to think. It's a Sarah a Surfer list. Damn, the Null would have been absolutely insane. Too bad. We we can play Death Deadpool Null if we even had it. We don't, though. They don't have Juggernaut, so the math isn't as hard as it could be. Yeah, just forget Tarnax 4. There is no reason. Or wait. Like, sure, this removes a little bit of power there, but... Like, whatever. Who cares? Let's see. I like this. Yeah, we won! Like, we only high rolled again, like hell, G, G, or they just didn't get anything. We got Asgard, which was the best location right there for us. Just, just giving more gas to destroy is the best way to win. And I'm probably the best destroy player in the entire game. I will not accept anything else. I am the destroy god. Well, I mean, I have... A, a win in Infinite Conquest with every version of Destroy. That's how we got most of my Infinite Avatars. I have a victory with Kingpin Nimrod. We have just like regular Nimrod. We have with Pure Destroy. We have... I don't know. I have also some other... I have... It's not a Galactus deck. I can't remember. I didn't play Destroy Galactus. Like, I had... Up against Crazy. The X number one player. Now ranked number fifth. Can't blame the guy. I don't want to play this game a ton either. So we play Forge there. Please be good. Oh god, amazing. Yeah! High rolling! There we go, I guess that's pretty good. Oh no. What do we value more, a Wolverine or a X23? I mean, X23 is just really good. She's just a really good card. Is that gonna be an armor or something? Yeah, Demon. Good thing I played mid then. I really want priority. Nidaveller is... Kind of insane. Kind of. 
Just don't. Is he, if he storms it out, I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's a pretty good thing. Jeff? Uh, it's a lockdown junk deck. Oh, wow. I think that's worth a snap. After these messages, we'll see what happens. If that's a sentry, we gotta cook. Let's see, X-23 jumping. We left, that's pretty good. Wolverine jumping. It is a sentry. We can still overpower that. Ooh, man, Nico Minoru. Nico sucks here. I can replace the Veller If I find a way. Or I can just play her into Tarnax 4. But I can also... Yeah, basically Tarnax 4 is Gamba Heaven. Do I just play Nico for fun? Like, sure. Hey, Annihilus. Yeah, what do we expect? There he is. Honestly, that's not too bad. Yeah, we still win left. Wow! Like, it's it's not here or there. It's 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 the definition of it's fine. Do I just play Killmonger left? Yeah, but that replaces Tarnax four. That could be profitable for him. It also kills my Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, but this is just really funny. But it th this is hilarious. Like, I can just clear everything, and if it all goes left, we just win. We die to Shang or other Shangs in the game. Ah, you know, uh, let's, let's get... Wait, Carnage doesn't get the stats, then, shit. After you play a card, which means I play a card... I have no idea how it's gonna work. You know what, let's pile. Let's go! Let's go, pile on! We Carnage there. Do we replace it? Before Carnage dies. Yo! Wait, this can be bad. No, 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 it's still good. Still good. Mid X23. Good job, buddy. Now we pop everything. I have no idea what's happening. I'm just I'm cooking too hard right now. The kitchen's burning down. No, cringe. We tied. We tied because he rolled the life off of an Iron Lad and Shadow King to mid. Ah oh, well. We, we gained one rating. That game was so crazy that the second dinner was clapping. Okay, that was a good one. So far, we haven't lost once. Maybe the deck is better than I thought. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's absolutely not. I, this is the, like, rare times I'll agree with Jeff Hoagland. He said, Loki solidifies itself at the top. I agree. Hawk decks are playing alive, and so uh, many are also on Annihilus. Of course. Like, of course they are. I said the exact same thing. Annihilus is only good as an engine. This is gonna get really annoying. The rank 94. Do we wait one turn? No, we'll go. We'll go in. X-23. Quinjet up against the Loki, which means my death and my null will be my weakness this game. Uh, location replacer. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know about that one. Snow Guard becoming what? M'Baku and Maria Hill becoming, well, something. A random card. Watch this become armor and he snaps. Like I, like I can just feel it at this point. D damn! Damn, damn, damn! You can't give me that! Fine! Screw Tempo, we'll go in. Negasonic, God, I wish I played Nimrod. <laughs> oh my God, imagine that.
We'd be high rolling. We would never lose. Only win, never lose. I get to null. Immediately. I Too bad I don't play Arnim Zola, huh? A Scarlet Witch. That's not too bad. Whoa! Thanks! I legit thought this was gonna be way worse. You know what? We're not even gonna null yet. There is no there is no reason to null. Like we'll just play Killmonger Venom. Is that overcommittal? A bit. This kills the Killmonger, which is completely fine. That just fuels my null even more. And this destroys all of his chances for victory aside from that. And it kind of clears up the board. Can he get death null and we die? Sure he can. Let's just hope he doesn't, alright? Like, Agent 13. Man, this is going to be the largest null you've ever seen in your life. There it is. The best card in the game getting piloted by Loki. Let's see. Negasonic. We'll destroy my Killmonger, of course, but let's keep going. Ouch. Venom. Destroying the Wolverine. Hopefully he jumps right. He jumped left, which is not too bad. Let's see what we get. Please, game, stop bugging. Okay. He has to play into Tonax 4, which will replace one of his cards. So we just hard commit, right? If he plays Null mid, we lose there. Death is a zero cost card. How does it count it? <laughs> How? I have no idea. Imagine if we had Taskmaster. Wait, that wouldn't do anything. Ah, oh, well. Let's play... Actually, it would. No, it wouldn't. What the fuck am I saying? If he plays no mid, we lose mid. If he plays death mid, we don't lose then. This is the best play we can do. Yeah! We beat Loki as well. Is this deck good? Is it good? I have no idea. Am I, am I, am I too hard on it? Am I like, oh man, this deck sucks. I don't, it's the Deadpool portion. Deadpool is so mid, man. I don't know. Like, I wish he was more consistent. And people are saying if he was more consistent, then he'd be broken. I don't think so. I just don't think this deck is that good. Is it the best destroy deck? Yes, but the <laughs> destroy isn't that good. Not, not yet, anyway. We need more support. Like, the deck list is tight and all, but... I mean, Lambie said this. He said, like, uh, destroy... I can't remember exactly what he said. I'm trying to remember right now off the top of my head. I think we're gonna lose. And we have to play Nico because we need the tempo. Technically all... Ah! Our worst matchup. But... Wait! We draw! That's pretty good. That's pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and we get Forge into... I mean, I mean, we just need to draw one of our four destroy enablers, right? What are the chances we don't? Foreshadowing. <laughs> what are the chances? If he plays Snowguard, I'm gonna freak. Okay, now Snowguard does. Ah! <laughs> there she is! There's the evil one! We didn't draw it! We had four draws that instantly win us the game! We didn't get one. Nothing. Loki. Yeah. He gets to just play for free. Oh! And the... Like, I'd welcome a... Oh my god, we, we lost. There's nothing we can do. Sad, I know, but... That's how it is. We didn't get Killmonger, we didn't get Venom, we didn't get Deathlock, we didn't get Carnage. If we got one of them one turn early, we had it. But no, the deck shuffler just didn't give us a destroy card in our destroy deck. We even drew a card! Oh god. That is depressing. I mean, let's hope he plays Killmonger or something. I can play de destroy less destroy. <laughs> <laughs> like, my deck doesn't work either. If he plays Venom, we're kind of dead, right? <laughs> oh, God.
<laughs> you do you can't Wolverine don't jump left Why didn't he jump mid? If he jumped mid maybe we could have watch him jump left <laughs> No <laughs> No Not like this <laughs> Not like this <laughs> Okay we lost that one <laughs> Not much to do God that was sad and that's really the problem, like, you can draw Deadpool 4, Jax 23, but what if you don't draw any destroy- We aren't losing any rating, though. My elo has gotten so high, we're not even losing anymore. We're just, like, impervious to defeat now. I'm just saying, I'm doing the Biden blast against everybody. I just really, really think that the Nimrod destroy version is way better. I've climbed, like, if you play Phoenix Force destroy- it is so much more consistent, has so much more game. You even have a slot for a life, like, at which you really need in the current map. I think this is the strongest destroy card ever, like this. People are saying, oh no, Venom is stronger. I, not only do I disagree, it's completely wrong. Like, the Carnage does everything. He does everything. He is insane. He's, he's so insane, he sees play outside of Destroy. He sees play in Junk, he sees play in everything. He's so good. Carnage is so good. And, and people are saying, yeah, you can play both. You can, not saying you can't, but this guy. So good. We'll Carnage immediately, why not? Hmm? Coiling Wing into Swarm God, they have a God Hand. They're getting a zero cost. Oh no! Now we know how it works! Oh god. So, death gives you an 8 cost. Huh. How would that even work? Hmm. Uh, we do this. And we get another copy of Carnage. How, how many of you guys do you think is enough? Morbius? Okay. I really think he should have put Morbius in the throne room. Like, Morbius is huge most of the time. He's like the biggest guy. Yeah, Deadpool is just... <laughs> he ain't doing it today, brother. He ain't doing it. <laughs> Shit. Deadpool! God, bro. Stop being so ass! <laughs> Why is he so ass today? I mean, it is gonna be a Deadpool-focused video. I am playing the Deadpool version, but... Yeah. We will get the hugest Taskmaster ever seen. That's another two cost. Ooh, he got a draw. He got a draw. He got a draw. Well, I can't pop Deadpool again. If he overpowers me in the throne room right now, we might be in trouble. I'm gambling if I draw Null. Yeah, I got him. Like, Null or Death, both are good. I'd play Death mid. At worst, she's like a... She just swaps herself into herself. There is no other 8 cost in the game. Is there? Like, I'm gonna look it up in the background. Cards... Sort by cost. Reverse it. Death. Death is the only 8 cost in the... Yo! No! The devil! <laughs> no! Why? Why? Why have Elsa Bloodstone? Well, there's... Well, there's Lady Death. I have no idea. Like, Death swaps into Death. The thing I... I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Let's, let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You know that one meme where that just guy says... Let's go! I'm ready. Um, yeah, I I'm basically Spongebob right now. I'm ready! And if I'm gonna do this, I might have... Well, that lowers the power there, but... It's 30, like, it's like 58 billion power, who cares? He has to play a 5 cost mid... And, ha and we keep winning, but this is also one of the problems with Destroy. We do keep winning, but we don't have a huge cube gain since everyone knows how to play against Destroy and you have so many counters so you can't really reliably snap. I mean you snap when you have a hand of like Nico Minoru, Forge into Deadpool, 
And X23, like, those hands are just unbeatable. How do you beat them? You don't, because they're too good. But the problem is, when they're too good, it kind of seems obvious that you're trying to snap. Oh, well. We'll play Forge. Broad usually plays Lockdown. I expect nothing else at the moment. Can we draw Deadpool? X23? Deadpool? Yeah! Oh my god! You know what? Power of prediction. If he plays armor mid, god dang it. Okay, he is playing lockdown. We did predict. Can we get Taskmaster here? If we can, it's over. It's literally over. Venom mid. We need tempo. Tempo, tempo, tempo. That's how we beat lockdown. If he tries to lock it out, then so be it. He's gonna just try to lie up us on the final turns. Or play st other stuff. There's Storm, as predicted. Now let's keep going. Sometimes you're just too good. I'm, I'm sometimes just too good, aren't I? Forget, forget everything. Deadpool is at 15 power and he's not going anywhere else. There is no way I can get a bigger one. If he plays Shadow King mid, I guess we die. I can't beat a Shadow King. I don't care about a sentry, we're too big. Mm. Juggernaut is pretty bad. Nebula. Psylocke. He is so he is gonna attempt to lock us out. Yeah, there is Null, but I don't think Null will see much play. Tragic, I know, but that's just the way it is. Oh, you can't miss Marvel if you... Yeah, this works. This is just really good. Yeah, forget Deadpool. Deadpool's gone. Jump right, please! No, that's the worst location. Oh! Do I get really blown out by Shang? I get kind of blown out by Shadow King. If he plays Shang and Jeff, I guess I'm dead. Can't, I'm, I can't afford to play around it. It's locked down. Ooh, ooh, we got him. I predicted it. I just know. Like, Broad always plays lockdown. I know. Everyone is unbased but us, so we know what they're gonna play. Sorry, Broad, you're a great player, but you gotta get some new decks. I don't wanna disrespect anyone. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I mean no disrespect, but you gotta play something that it isn't total cringe. Like, come on, don't be that way. We're up by 13 cubes, and in just one session... I mean, I am recording all of these out of order. I'm just basically recording multiple games over a single day, and there is our worst location. Sadly, the feature location is so bad for us, I need to take a minute after every game to be like, <gasps> I can't record this. Okay. Like, they're all bad. We're up against Hella. We need peak. We need, like, the best destroy thing ever. Ah. Uh... I'll play death right. You guys probably see where this game is going. <laughs> I need to build up the strongest null ever seen in the history of Marvel Snap and then play Taskmaster over it. Which means we need to draw a lot. <laughs> we need to get some draw. <sighs> well, I'm not gonna really need the carnage. If he sniped X23, that would have been hilarious, but who cares? Magneto, uh. Black Cat, Dracula, Magneto. We're gonna be like the biggest boy. Nico Minoru, you do me well. You're a good man, Nico Minoru. To all of you who know what that reference is from, you're a giga, Chad. And to all of you who said, is it Red Dead Redemption? Yes, it is Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, <laughs> you got it, you got it, bro. <laughs> I'm always expected to see like, wait, Dromic is that from yeah that? Yes, it is. Yes, I'm not that. 
Like, but I'm not the coolest guy ever. It's just gonna be something really mainstream. Hmm. Well, we're kind of dependent on Magneto tossing a coin. Well, we X-23 into Venom. It does give us the Taskmaster play we longed for. But that is also now kind of di tossing dice. The Infinite. Jubilee! Getting something from the top. It's death! I think we win. We we beat a full power Hella. All we needed was one one in six effect. Actually, one in seven, and we won. There we go. And this is what I'm saying. Like I, I imagine my opponent is so frustrated because like, oh man, he got the best Nico Minor effect right now. Yes, I did. Okay, so Deadpool was absolutely insane. I mean, was he great in most games? No, I consider this to be the worst card in the deck, and that and destroy uh, is kind of just piloting too hard into hey, if you get a giant Deadpool, you win, which is true, but most of the time, what happens? You don't draw Deadpool, turn two comes, you're like, oh, I can play Wolverine, then turn three comes, and you're like, oh, X23 Carnage, and then you realize that Deadpool just really doesn't fit. But if you have hands that are just Forge, Deadpool, X-23, Killmonger, and just like, you get to make him like a 57 attack guy, then I'm sure he's the best one drop in the game. But when he isn't, he really isn't. Otherwise, the deck is absolutely great. Null is just the largest guy. Death is so good. Taskmaster is probably the inclusion all people need to include, because I think he's way better than Hulkbuster. Hulkbuster is cool, but then you're just piloting too hard on the Deadpool, while this is just great with Venom, great with Null, great with Death. It has so many great combos. Carnage is probably the best symbiote in the deck aside from Venom. I mean, Null is great, but these guys make the entire archetype tick. And Nico Minoru, when she high rolls, you absolutely instantly win. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. And I will see you in the Snap Mania. Take care, all of you.